So, good morning to all of you. So today, we would like to have some discussion regarding to people who are working for databases. And the first point is uh, data independence. The second point is the people who are working for databases. I mean, who are who have been operating this database, whether in terms of doing their job with uh, designing or giving permissions or uh, using the database or uh, 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 giving some kind of programming on database. Everything has been discussed today. So you have uh, very important questions. Two important questions are there in our final examinations as far as uh, today's lecture is concerned. First one is, so what is uh, data independence? And explain how data independence could be gets happened. So this is the question. And uh, second one is, what are the roles and responsibilities of DBA, database administrator? So what are the roles and responsibilities of DBA? These two are uh, the questions which could be covered. Of course, I'm not talking about uh, as far as uh, your uh, uh, final examinations kind of questions. I'm talking about in subject point of view only, but uh, it is my responsibility to recall you, remind you, these will be the questions which could be comes to you in our final examinations also. So, however, so yesterday we have discussed everything here. Everything this uh, uh, thing has been discussed yesterday. So, there are uh, several number of uh, uh, roles and responsibilities of each and every level. So, physical level, logical level, and uh, so external level. There are three different types of levels or schemas are available in our uh, database incorporation to your any organization. So, physical level and uh, logical level and uh, actional level. These are the three different types of levels which are uh, been there. And the physical level will be available geographically far away from you. Conceptual level could be, it is conceptual in the sense, it is a logical level. Everything will be run with uh, so background programming and uh, which has been maintained by a person who is called as a database administrator and uh, if you are end user yes you are supposed to access the so front end by using some kind of development by the database admin, database designers or database programmers so these are the things which we have uh, defined here now the concept is a database or data independence data independence what do you mean by independence the name itself indicates that data must be independent from one level to another. If you are supposed to change any kind of modifications at one level, that modification should not be reflected in other levels. That is called as uh, the data independence. That I, I, I repeat one more time. If any modification will be happened at one level, that modification should not be reflected or should not be make any changes in the lower levels. If I were to do some kind of modification at the external level, for example, I did uh, some kind of modification at this place. So this modification could not be affect uh, the conceptual level. Otherwise, you did any modification at a conceptual level that could not be affect the internal, okay, physical level. So this uh, modifications could not be affected from one level to another level is called as data independence. If you did any kind of modifications, those modifications could not be affected, it's lower levels. Okay, so that is the specification which we have to remember here. So here, data independence could be gets happened like this. This is the way of data independence which is being existed. So if a highest level could be modified, that could not be affected anymore in the lower level. Whereas, in the lower levels, you may be did any kind of modification, thus that must be taken by the higher levels. That could not be so that could not be taken into consideration as uh, data independence. So please remember one thing I am supposed to give you. If higher level could be modified anything, so no need to change the conceptual level based on the modifications which have been done at a higher level. If you did any kind of modification at the view one, 
So that modification could not be take any kind of effect in conceptual level or internal level. So that is called as data independence. And if any modification will be happen at the conceptual level, that could not be took place in internal level. So no need to open internal level structure and you have to change anything it is not required. So such requirements are not available, are not uh, taking care. Such kind of things are called as data independence. Whereas in conversely, in reverse, if you speak in reverse, if any modification will be happen at lower levels, that modification must be reflected in higher levels because lower level has its own priority when compared to higher level. Without lower levels, you could not work with the, the higher level here. So therefore, modifications will be took place in vice versa direction, okay? Higher level to lower level, otherwise uh, top to bottom approach and the bottom to top approach. We are not concerned about the bottom to top approach here. This is not supposed to be discussed by us. We are discussing about uh, bottom to, sorry, top to bottom approach. Okay, this is called as data independence. Now, what exactly the data independence has been taken? How it has been uh, uh, defined? So logical data independence has been divided into two parts. Number one is uh, logical data independence. Number two is uh, so physical data independence. Okay, physical data independence. So let us uh, uh, come across this particular thing, physical data independence. If any modifications will be happen at uh, logical level or otherwise conceptual level, these could not be reflected in its lower level, that is the physical level, okay? We will come across this data independence while doing some kind of exercises with uh, uh, SQL or PLSQL. We will we'll have a the clear uh, clear information regarding to independence, but you need to remember me during that course of uh, time. However, if any modifications will be get happened at this level, so if he is change any, I mean database administrator will be change any, so security point of issues at logical level, those could not be reflected here. Okay, there is no problem if security level will be decreased our security level will be increased. There is no problem at all. Otherwise, if a database administrator will give extra permissions to user one, otherwise view one, that could not be so affected in logical level, other, sorry, uh, physical level. So he may be given some more extra operations to so one, uh, one person. Let me say, already I have given some clear information or clear example uh, uh, with, your, uh, with, with your previous discussion here. So normally, you know, student information system will be, he will be responsible for uh, the scholarships. He will be responsible for uh, attendance. He will be responsible for uh, the examination system and so on and so forth. So many number of systems are there here. Database administrator have every right to look into all operations which are being happening by the all views. So he may be you some permissions to everybody. Now, a uh, scholarship person, scholarship person is looking forward for only scholarships, whether he is eligible or not based on the different documents. He may be identifies whether he is eligible or not. Attendance will be looking forward. He is looking about only attendance of the students and based on the attendance, he will be promoted or not. He will be looked forward that one only. So he is supposed to conduct some examinations and uh, deliver mocks to the students and the departments. For example, these are the activities. These are the activities. And uh, these activities will be uh, taken care by each and every view. This is high level view. Now, things will be come across uh, uh, with uh, 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 this particular user. Government has included one more extra, uh, I mean, uh, extra rule for scholarship that whether he was uh, so process more than 75% attendance or not. Previously it is not there, but right now it was incorporated in scholarships. Then what actually database administrator could do? Database administrator must be give so extra privileges to so scholarship person. If he will be given extra privileges to scholarship person, there is no change in internal level. Yes, he can give, there is no problem at all. There is no change in internal level. 
so that uh, we could not uh, make any modifications in the internal level. So such modifications could not be taken place and such kind of things are called as uh, physical data independence. Physically, that data has been stored somewhere else in hard disks and uh, because of some, some small, small, small changes in uh, so conceptual schema, there should not have any modifications at uh, physical level. So that is why it is called as a physical data independence. Finally, the conclusion is, if any modification will be happen at a conceptual level, those modifications shall not be take any kind of modifications in physical level. Conceptual level has taken some modifications. They could not be reflected at physical level. If this could be happen, then such kind of thing is called as physical data independence. And then followed by logical data independence in the sense, if any modification will be happen at, uh, so any external view. So for example, uh, similarly what I have spoke just before, similarly here also, so the scholarship person will be, so I mean increase the range of, uh, so let me say uh, the income. So previously, if any person will, uh, uh, have the range income below one lakh, he is eligible to eligible to uh, scholarship. Right now, government of Andhra Pradesh or government of India has increased the range right away from so one lakh to five lakhs. So if he will increase that particular five lakhs instead of one lakh, so that could not be take any kind of modification in conceptual level. So okay, no modification will be took place with this particular conceptual level. So, uh, external level could have made any kind of modification in its database that could not be reflected in conceptual level. Such kind of uh, not reflections in conceptual level are called as so logical data independence. Logical data independence will be gets happen between these two, external level and the logical level. Whereas physical level or physical uh, data independence will be happen between these two. So logical. Uh, uh, our physical level to the so internal level or physical level. Okay, so between these two, so it has been physical data independence will be physical data independence will be gets happen between these two. Logical data independence will be happened here. So it is always been considered that top down approach, top down approach. At the top layers might might perform any kind of modification. They should not be affected in. So lower levels, the top layer could be done any kind of modification. They should not be effect on so lower levels. Then that is called as data independence. If modifications will be happen at the conceptual level will not be reflected in the internal level, then that is called as physical data independence. If any modification will be happen at the external level will not be took place any kind of modification that conceptual then that is called as logical data independence. But in converse, it is not important actually, it is not important to discuss, but it is my responsibility to give you. So when uh, any converse questions will be asked to you during interviews, so you have to may be able to uh, give answers to them. In converse, if modifications will be happen in uh, bottom to up approach, that we say bottom to up, up in the sense, if internal, internal level any modification will be happen, they must be reflected all higher layers. It must be reflected, otherwise your system could not be in stable position. Okay, if a physical level, any modification will be happen, it must be there with, the, it must be reflected with the, the conceptual level. Obviously it must be reflected at the, so view level, or let me say external level. Whereas in conceptual level, any kind of modification will be happen, that must be reflected in the external level. So bottom to up approach always reflected the data. I mean, the data independence could not be followed. Whereas a top to bottom approach data independence must be followed. So that is what uh, you need to consider. So data independence are uh, two types, physical data independence, logical data independence. So probably by tomorrow or today in the evening, you could have your notes on uh, every one of these. Okay, this is what about data independence. And followed by who are the actors? Who are the actual users for databases? Let us have a look here. If any organization, let us consider so a big organization will be there in that organization, 
many people are doing their own uh, operations through any kind of I mean, uh, uh, activities through the uh, database management systems. Based on the activities which they have to done, so data users will be differ, distinguished with uh, many number of uh, uh, designations. So there's, those designations are number one, database administrators. These are very, very important people for databases. Second person is database designers. Third one is uh, system analysts. Fourth one is uh, application programmers. And the fifth one is end users. However, everybody have, uh, I mean, every organization have these four portfolios. These four portfolios are available with uh, any kind of system and that they doesn't have any end users. So there is no use of the such kind of database design. For example, if you consider there is a uh, one e-commerce website, Flipkart, for example. So Flipkart has been, uh, 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 what you call, designed a very good, uh, uh, let me say, Flipkart, yes. Flipkart has been designed a very good e-commerce website and uh, uh, they have uh, provided to the users uh, many number of items for uh, the purchase and they have uh, given very good uh, interface also and they are supposed to as and when you have to search for one particular uh, item it will be within within a very uh, teeny tiny tiny amount of time the data has been uh, so appeared to you but uh, nobody no end user no customer has purchased from the particular fit card then what is the use okay end users are Clients are very, very important. The end users are very, very important. You have database administrator, you have designer, you have uh, system analysis, and you have application programmers, and you have a very good uh, website, and uh, you prepared very, very, very good uh, uh, things, and uh, you have showcased everything to sell to the people. But nobody are interested towards uh, your, your uh, I mean, goods which have been prepared by you. Then what is the use? No use at all. So out of all these, so first four people, of course, they are very important. They are very important. These four persons are very important. But even then, without the end user, whatever the operations they did, so that is useless. So that is why end users are very, very important while considering any kind of uh, database application. And again, end users are uh, again segregated into many. So sometimes casual users and then uh, maybe our parametric users and then uh, the sophisticated users and then uh, standalone users and uh, these are different different kinds of uh, so end users which are available with us these are the four categories of end users so finally what i'd like to consider what i'd like to say here is first four categories are very much important provided end users will be used their uh, these people's services effectively okay so if things will not be perfect so could not be do anything here however these are the different different kinds of designations which are available with uh, the databases so let us have a small discussion regarding to each and every designation first of all very importantly I'd like to concentrate on roles and responsibilities of DBA. What he, this particular person will do? This person will perform many, many operations because already we have seen database administrator, the job of database administrator is he's always maintaining so logical database or logical schema or logical level. Entire logical level will be there in the hands of a database administrator. What are the roles? What he's supposed to do? He is supposed to perform he may be create uh, different different kinds of users which are uh, uh, used to enter into the database by many number of end users or any other uh, portfolios and he may be also create a certain number of uh, catalog tables otherwise data dictionaries whatever the data dictionaries you may be have with you so data dictionary in the same catalog and the data dictionary will be collectively called as metadata these are called as uh, metadata so this metadata kind of uh, so tables have been created by data database administrators and the second responsibility is he is supposed to create uh, some uh, access paths how fast the data will be retrieved from the database will be created by the database administrator access paths are uh, oh, many number of access paths are there i have given so only two here 
number 1 is indices number 2 is cluster number 3 is partition number 4 is uh, so uh, what you call internal partition and external partition something like that. so reports everything all these things are uh, considered as so access methods these are called as access methods so this may be created by of course programmer could also be gets created by this but uh, programmer created indices or clusters must be approved by the dba if he is not approved obviously they could not be taken into consideration by the whole database system entire database system so that is why he is the person who authorize indices authorize clusters and so on and so forth okay and uh, he is also design the physical schema of uh, entire organization how entire organization will be have and what is the specific structure of the entire database which is being utilized by this specific organization he is supposed to create that one and uh, he is uh, supposed to give permissions to many people just before i have quoted that uh, scholarship have some certain number of permissions and uh, examinations might have certain number principal does have certain number secretary will have certain number hod will have certain number of permissions these permissions will be always granted by so given by dba database administrator okay then uh, if any integrity constraints if you want to if any in, in incoming data will be there uh, for our database so those integrity constraints will be uh, defined by database administrator everything is available with dbms but where exactly one constraint will be works he may be checked thoroughly and he was enforced such kind of uh, constraints on that particular data item within the database it could be done by dba and the next one is uh, acting liaison between uh, or among several number of users so database designer he wants anything so he must be communicate with, with dba to provide such kind of uh, so facility to create some number of databases which are required by the organization otherwise if any end user is there he wanted to access so and so so and so the table or so and so so and so database he must communicate with the data dba so that uh, he would get uh, some kind of uh, privilege to access that particular database for a while for certain period certain amount of uh, time so he may be accessed after elapsing that particular amount of time that privilege will be revoked from the so specific user so this these are the licensing operations which have been done uh, among many number of uh, database users so he is as he uh, is as a license between many number of users and uh, he is also responsible to allocate the quota space so if you were uh, uh, for example for scholarship scholarship does have uh, not required huge amount of data it may be required some so 250 mb will be enough for each and every semester because only one time or two times the data, uh, the, the data will be received by the government and uh, he may be update some kind of data and he will send back whereas if you consider examination department examination department must require terabytes of data so quota for scholarship will be will be very small uh, uh, when compared to examination department examination department the quota will be initially he was allocated some 1 gb after some time he may be i mean examination branch person may be required uh, a extra 1 gb in the sense he must communicate with dba and uh, he is uh, put a request to dba dba that increase the quota so then he will increase the so memory quota for that particular fellow so like this so he may be done and uh, monitoring and responding all kinds of users so if any person is doing any malicious operation he will be immediately send a So I cannot request to that particular fellow that uh, you do not do these kind of operations. If you did, so your privileges will be gets, uh, uh, I mean, revoked back from you. Such kind of warnings will be given to so called person. If any person is required extra amount of space based on the requirements or based on the requisitions, he may be in increase or decrease. Everything, everything will be monitored by him, by database administrator. followed by overall control also be there at the database administrator only without the permission of database administrator you could not do any kind of operation okay everything must be given and finally so there are two different types of areas which are available with the databases at a data database server 
that is called as uh, supervisor global area and uh, user global area supervisor global area in the sense this area where exactly every user's information is being maintained and whatever the catalog and whatever the data dictionary everything will be maintained by supervisor uh, global area where user area so if you are examination branch you may be have your own specific area you could not touch with any other area related to some other uh, kind of users if you are a, a, a scholarship he could not touch with examination or principal or which one is uh, area so that is why it is called as a user global area that user global area is specific for each and every user whereas super uh, supervisor global area will be have a control on all kinds of areas i mean spaces which are being there and these will be maintained by so database administrator these are the roles and responsibilities of uh, the database administrator and he is very important person so with uh, the database uh, activities and then uh, followed by so database uh, the designers these designers are uh, mainly specified identification of uh, the data which kind of data is being stored with the which kind of database he must be identified so scholarship in the sense he may be required he may be uh, identified that uh, student number student name so parents information so parents income what is the income of parent and uh, so are there any documents which are pertained to uh, refer his income and uh, are there any other requirements so everything will be identified by this particular fellow and he will be look after what kind of data is being stored based on that he was designed structures okay database structures of course database administrator with the uh, with the prior permission of database administrator only he may be perform the, these jobs without database administrator he could not enter into so databases so that is what you need to remember first of all then followed by he is also communicate with all other users all other users in the sense so database designers uh, will be communicate with analysts programmers or end users whomever are there in the lower order so he just to communicate with every person that uh, what are the actual requirements of his duty and what what kind of operations they may be done so it must be educated to him so that uh, so they will they will have some kind of idea how data will be entered or uh, manipulate within the, within their scope so these are the three different types of uh, so uh, uh, roles and responsibilities of database designers whereas come across with uh, so other people so database uh, wait for a bit okay database analysts these people are always trying to analyze so how data will be stored into database what are the complexities which are being taken into consideration for storing the data so if it is uh, the complexity will be more or complexity will be less will be identified by so called uh, database analysts and uh, these are also analyze if uh, so data will be i mean so called constraint will be gets applied at so and so so and so place what are the consequences which may be faced by end users everything will be analyzed by this particular fellow and application programmers obviously these people are called as software engineers so based on the so designs which have been given by database administrator and database designers these people are performing so accordingly they may be create some kind of application programs or create some kind of databases for uh, uh, succeeding the database application here and then finally i like to come across with the end users these are most these people are most crucial people for any kind of database casual users what are the casual users in the sense very 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 low uh, frequency will be there to communicate with the database let us consider so if you take into consideration of a uh, 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 banking system we are the people who will communicate with the banking system very rarely because as and when as myself is considered if salary will be credited to my account then uh, i will uh, communicate with my bank account otherwise there is no that much specification to be communicate with the bank account so myself will be casual user for bank account 
and uh, some people the people who are working with the bank they is continuously communicating with the with the so databases those kind of people are called as uh, so navy or parametric end users if any credit will be there they will take care if any deposit will be there they will be take care and if any loan will be there they will be take care and if any loan will not be paid by the people then they will take care everything everything will be taken into consideration these people are continuously in touch with the database so that they will know what kind of operations will be done by the databases sophisticated sophisticated in the sense more and more uh, uh, specifically speaking the sophisticated uh, users will be scientific users so scientific users in the sense these people are always uh, use the database to identify the scientific results and the store into the database for that particular point of view these people are uh, working with the databases and uh, those those kind of people always uh, trying to store very important scientific results into the database so that is why they are called as uh, uh, sophisticated end users stand alone users in the sense these people are not supposed to be communicate with the any other other people but these people operations will be very important while uh, doing some kind of operations with the databases let me give you one example so reservation system if you consider the reservation system so that reservation system will be took place something like this if any if any i mean uh, uh, let me consider this is the chart with uh, one particular bus so seat number 1 seat number 2 and so on and so forth so this this is this bus will be play right away from vijayawada to so visakhapatnam and uh, many people are reserving ticket tickets for this particular bus obviously the person who is uh, booking the ticket is booking this particular ticket in the sense he must be this particular ticket must be booked and information will be given to everybody across uh, uh, all all booking stations between uh, vijayawada and visakhapatnam so that issue will be done by stand alone users they are not supposed to communicate with anybody they will be always update the database that's all they are not supposed to directly communicate with anybody they just update the database without uh, interfering with anybody okay so that is why they are called as stand alone users uh, these are the different different kinds of users which are available with us so so finally let me open one more thing this one minute So here, if you observe the syllabus, so we have completed as of this one. Mapping has uh, completed, and uh, internal level has completed, conceptual level has completed, architecture has completed, and uh, database administrator and all other users. You have only database administrator with your syllabus, but I have covered all users. Then uh, we have only one thing which is left over here, that is client-server architecture, of course. in a set of client server i'd like to give you peer to peer architecture client server architecture and request response of response of response kind of architecture also we discuss with you in the next next class so that you may be complete uh, the whole so uh, unit number 1 and uh, probably by today the evening i shall i shall give you the complete uh, uh, unit 1 material i will post this material to you in google classroom If anybody is not, uh, uh, I mean, uh, taken that Google Classroom as your classroom, so please register with them. And I have already sent the code for Google Classroom. You please uh, navigate your uh, so WhatsApp group so that you could get some kind of idea how you have to enter into Google Classroom. Okay. So I'll show you how many people are there in the Google Classroom and how many people are not there. I'll show you. right now i'll show you
one minute you stay with me okay however so you can see uh, these are the people who are already registered with me for uh, a dvms class only 35 students you can see the number 35 students have been registered with me so these are the people who are registered with the uh, google classroom out of them i am also one of the students among you so this is my name so another email id has been taken by me so 34 students have, uh, have registered with me and uh, you please register immediately okay without if anybody is not registered with this one you please register immediately okay yeah so it's 30 minutes